There are many reasons why people relocate to Valencia, Spain, rather than Florida or California or any state or country. I mean, Valencia is a beautiful city, closely comparable to Barcelona and Madrid. From the golden sands of Playa Las Arenas to the flamboyant Rococo architecture of the National Ceramics Museum. This 2,000-year-old city offers extensive sandy beaches, beautiful architecture, and excellent food culture, and is, in fact, Spain's third largest city. In today's episode, due to its vast similarities like size, location, and quality of life, we'll compare the prices in California's third largest city, San Diego, to its Spanish counterpart, Valencia, Spain. We'll take a look at the living costs, so if you're into numbers and not just pretty pictures, you should stick around till the end. If you're moving to Spain just like us, I think you'd want to save this episode for reference. Quick disclaimer, the prices and costs in this video are only an estimate. It varies on which parts of Valencia you're residing in, but at least you get a rough estimate or an idea. Fun fact, <laughs> Did you know San Diego has a consumer price index that is 60% greater than Valencia? This is without rent. But with rent, San Diego's consumer prices are 115.55% higher than in Valencia. I know those numbers are very confusing. It really confused me too. So let's do it piece by piece by starting with the meals. And let's do it right after the intro. First, let's talk about the meals. Let's talk about the inexpensive restaurant meals, the mid-range meals, the fast food meals, and of course, the beverages they serve for adults and kids. So when it comes to a meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant with a three-course meal, meaning appetizer, main course, and dessert, in San Diego, it's going to cost about $80 for two people. In Valencia, it's going to cost $46.27. When it comes to a McMeal at McDonald's in San Diego, a combo meal will cost about $9.03. In Valencia, it's pretty close. It costs $8.23. When it comes to domestic beer, for example, we get a pint of a draft beer. In San Diego, it's an average of $7. In Valencia, Spain, it's an average of $3.08. When it comes to imported beer, which comes in a 12-ounce small bottle, in San Diego, it costs about $8. In Valencia, it costs the same as a pint, which is $3.08. When you order a cappuccino, a regular cappuccino, in San Diego, it costs $4.74. In Valencia, it costs $2.04. If you order a soft drink like Coke or Pepsi in a small bottle, in San Diego it costs $2.48. In Valencia it costs $1.99. When you order bottled water in San Diego, it costs about $2. In Valencia it costs $1.51. So that's a quick breakdown of the meals. Now we head on to the market. So this is going to be groceries, like your basic eggs, milk, uh, fruits. And we're also going to talk about alcohol. Or if you buy cigarettes, we're going to talk about that. If you want to buy a gallon of milk in San Diego, right now it costs $4.02. In Valencia, you can't really buy a gallon of milk. They usually serve it in half a gallon, but on an average, the cost is going to come up to $3.19. When you buy a loaf of fresh white bread, which is pretty much like a pound, in San Diego, it costs $3.48. In Valencia, it costs 93 cents. When you buy a pound of white rice, in San Diego, it costs $2.05. In Valencia, it costs 50 cents. 
when you buy a regular dozen of eggs. In San Diego, it costs $4.32. In Valencia, it costs $2.08. If you want to buy a pound of local cheese, this gets interesting because in San Diego, it's $5.65. In Valencia, it's $5.85. A pound of chicken fillets in San Diego costs $7.21. In Valencia, it's $3.08. If you want to buy a pound of beef round, which is like an equivalent of a back leg red meat, in San Diego, it's $7.46. In Valencia, it's $5.98. A pound of apples in San Diego would cost about a dollar and 97 cents. In Valencia, it costs 91 cents. A pound of bananas in San Diego costs 92 cents. In Valencia, it costs 74 cents. A pound of oranges in San Diego costs a dollar 50. In Valencia, it's 79 cents. A pound of tomato is a dollar and 73 cents in san diego in valencia it's 93 cents a pound of potatoes in san diego is one dollar and 41 cents in valencia it's 76 cents a pound of onion in san diego it's a dollar and 12 cents in valencia it's 75 cents one head of lettuce in san diego it's a dollar and 57 cents in Valencia, it's a dollar and 18 cents. A liter and a half of water in San Diego costs two dollars. In Valencia, it costs 58 cents. A bottle of wine that's in the mid range on an average costs about 12 dollars in San Diego. In Valencia, it costs about five dollars and 14 cents, or most of the time cheaper. A bottle of domestic beer in San Diego costs $3.55. In Valencia, it costs $1.03. For imported beers, a bottle costs $2.80 in San Diego. In Valencia, it costs $1.34. A pack of cigarettes in San Diego costs about $10. In Valencia, it costs $5.30. I know that was a lot of information, so let me do this. Let me show you how much a typical grocery run costs us. So I have a banana, a six-piece banana for a euro and eight cents. Sunbites cheddar chips for a euro and 69 cents. We have Tex-Mex nacho chips for 89 cents. I have a bag of red apples for a euro and 19 cents. We have granola cereal for two euros and 39 cents. A tub of Greek yogurt for two euros and 19 cents. We got toothpaste for two euros and 19 cents. Dove shower gel for three euros and 49 cents. Cookies and cream ice cream for two euros and nine cents. Sliced cheddar cheese for two euros and 39 cents. Lactose free whole milk for 93 cents. A block of chocolate, it's dark so it's healthy for 47 cents frozen salmon slices for seven euros and 29 cents and last but not the least three pounds of chicken breast for nine euros and 35 cents for a grand total of 37 euros and 63 cents which is about 37 dollars and 41 cents if you convert it now let's head on to transportation. So we're going to talk about the public transportation system and private. So if you're going to buy a car or you're going to rent a car or you're going to get a cab or ride a train or a bus, we're going to talk about this one. One way ticket to a local transportation in San Diego costs $2.50. In Valencia, it costs $1.54. If you want to take a monthly pass, on a regular price, in San Diego, it costs $75 a month. In Valencia, it costs $33.98. For taxi cabs, in San Diego, the starting price is $2.80. 
In Valencia, the starting price is $4.32. A mile in a taxi, on an average, in San Diego, already costs $3. In Valencia, it costs $1.65. A gallon of gasoline in San Diego costs $6.10. In Valencia, it's $6.20. If you want to buy a car, for example, a Volkswagen Golf 1.4 liter 90 kilowatt trend line or an equivalent new car, it's going to cost you $26,000 in San Diego. In Valencia, it's going to cost $20,019. If you want to buy a car that's an equivalent to a Toyota Corolla, the price in San Diego is $22,798.28. In Valencia, it's $20,335.15. Now we're going to go to the monthly utilities. So we're going to talk about electricity, all the bills that you need to pay for, and that would include water, internet, or your phone bills. For the basic ones, electricity, heating, cooling, water, garbage, for a 915 square foot apartment in San Diego, it's going to cost you $170.36. In Valencia, it's $137.70. For a minute call on a prepaid mobile card, in San Diego, it's going to cost you $0.22. Cents. In Valencia, it's going to cost you $0.14. Cents. For internet, which is an average of 60 Mbps or more with unlimited data and cable. In San Diego, it's going to cost you around $73.04. In Valencia, it's going to cost you $34.12. Sports and leisure, we're going to talk about the gym membership, we're going to talk about the tennis court, and if you wanna watch a movie. For a fitness club, for a gym membership, a monthly fee for one adult in San Diego is in an average of $44.04. In Valencia, it's $38.14. Now we go to a tennis court rental. A one hour rental on a weekend in San Diego would cost $18.36. Here in Valencia, it's going to be $11.05. If you wanna watch a movie that's an international release for one seat, it's $15 in San Diego, and in Valencia, it's going to be $7.71. Now let's head on to childcare. We're going to talk about preschool, we're going to talk about how much you pay for daycare, or if you wanna bring your kids to an international primary school. We're also going to talk about the clothes, tuition for preschool or kindergarten, full day, private, monthly for one child in San Diego would cost $1,408.53. In Valencia, it's going to cost you $439.98. If you want an international primary school, a yearly tuition for a child would amount to $14,638.10 in San Diego and in Valencia, it's going to be $7,506.78. Now let's go to clothing. If you buy a pair of jeans, like a Levi's or something similar, in San Diego, it's gonna cost about $55.71. Here in Valencia, it's going to be a little bit more expensive at $68.82. For a summer dress in a chain store like H&M or Zara in San Diego, it'll cost you $46.64. In Valencia, it's going to cost $30.08. For a pair of Nike running shoes, like a mid-range price, in San Diego, it's going to cost you $89.17. In Valencia, it's going to cost $71.52. Pair of men leather business shoes in San Diego is going to cost $99.58. In Valencia, it's going to cost you $89.55. Now let's talk about something that you're probably waiting for, the rental per month for an apartment 
for a one bedroom apartment, three bedroom apartment inside or outside the city. So here we go. An apartment with one bedroom in the city center in San Diego would run up to $2,597.29. In Valencia, it's $757.83 a month. If you want an apartment, a one bedroom apartment outside of the center, in San Diego, it's going to cost you $2,013.89 a month. In Valencia, it's going to cost you $560.17. Actually, let's have Bea give you a real-time demonstration of how it looks when you do apartment hunting in San Diego versus Valencia. All right, so we started our search with downtown San Diego in San Diego, California. So we went to apartments.com and click on search. And we'll just look for the one bedroom, one bath right now. And this should give you a pretty good idea of how much things cost. So a one bed, one bath in the city center or downtown San Diego would be 2800 Let's take a look at the others. 2700 This is by the gas lamp quarter. 3000 for a one bed, one bath. Dog friendly, cat friendly for 2675 So overall it's around 2600 I would say would be the average or at least like the starting point actually a lot of these are way over 2600 yeah so after that let's compare that to Valencia so we're here in Valencia um, and we are on Idealista and city center is called Ciudad Vela this is the old city literally translates to old city so we'll look at the 272 homes and we will select by again just one bedroom and as you can see just right off the bat really nice ones for 1600 but for a lot of them you'll find a few for like 800 700 800 680 so still a lot of good ones for an average of 700. There's a one for 975 and it's like nicely furnished. A lot of the apartments are already furnished. You'll see some for 680 for 800. So definitely there's more choices um, and more variety in pricing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go outside of downtown San Diego and I'm gonna draw I'm gonna just target maybe like National City, this area right here. And let's look at the properties that are just one bed for now and see how that goes. So for one bedroom, outside would be at around 1800. I'm thinking this one doesn't even have a price. 1900 for a one bedroom Chula Vista, which is very, very close to the border. 2500, 1500 to 1750. So um, it's on the lower end compared to the city center, which was at 2600. So about half, 1300 or 1795. But around, I would say, under 2000 for outside of the city center for a one bedroom. And then comparing that with Valencia, let's go outside of the city center. So going outside of the city center, this one is closer to the beach area. I think it's about 20 minutes or 25 minutes bus ride um, to the city center. This is called Cabanal and a one bedroom. Let me see. Oh no, let's, let's do a one bedroom. So as you can see outside, there's some starting at 600. Let's do lowest price, 600, 650, 699, all furnished. Comes with appliances, 799, 800. And this is close to the beach, like very, very close to the beach, but um, it's coming up a little bit cheaper. This is a penthouse, which is nice. Um, that means that you actually 
、um, have the entire top floor to yourself, and sometimes there will be a terrace if you're on the penthouse. So that's an added bonus. So this one is six ninety nine, and it's seventy two square meters, which is actually very big. Some of the other properties that we saw are about like fifty or forty eight square meters. So it's a nice bright area. Now let's compare something a little bit bigger for those who are starting out as a family or people who like to have guests over. A three-bedroom apartment in the city center in San Diego will cost you four thousand four hundred and twenty and twenty-nine cents. In Valencia, it's going to cost you one thousand three hundred and thirty-six dollars and eighty-two cents. Now, if you want a three-bedroom apartment outside of the center in San Diego, it's going to cost three thousand four hundred sixty dollars and fifty-three cents. In Valencia, it'll cost you eight hundred and twenty dollars and twenty-one cents. Here's Bea with a real-time demonstration for that one. Let's do three bedrooms instead of just one bed. Like, just do like a three-bedroom. See how much that's gonna run around the city center. Four thousand, forty-one hundred. So for a lot of them, starts at forty-one hundred. This one doesn't even have a price. Five thousand. Oh. Five thousand two hundred. And comparing that again with Valencia, again still at the city center, but having three bedrooms. And there's a few. If we scroll up. It's around two thousand. So I would say half. Two thousand, two thousand five hundred, twenty-two hundred. There's a nice, gorgeous one for four thousand. But there's also a few reasonable ones for fifteen hundred a month. And honestly, like we have been when we were looking, we even found one three-bed, two-bathroom for nine hundred fifty, and it came furnished. So, but that was, I think. Just on the border of outside of the city center, but you'll see some for great ones for thirteen hundred, sixteen hundred, and keep in mind for a lot of these they come furnished. And then moving back, let's go to the three bedrooms, three bed. Outside of the city center again, let's go look at Chula Vista, twenty four ninety five. I think that's actually a pretty good price, right? Ooh, thirty four hundred, sixty five. So, um, twenty eight seventy five. So, a lot of these are still under three thousand. That's good, but that's Chula Vista. Let's go look at around National City, which is closer to downtown. So it's thirty five fifty. No pricing. Twenty nine seventy five for this one right here.、Um, so about, I would say an average of three thousand for a three bedroom outside of downtown San Diego. Like maybe this is a twenty thirty minute drive, or with traffic forty five. So these are the pricing for out just outside city center. All right, moving on. Let's go back. Let's pick a different area. So let's now look at Valencia and look for the three bedrooms. See if they have any three bedrooms in this area right here. Again, closer to the beach. And there's one for five eighty-five a month. I don't know if this is real, but it's a small one. It's fifty-nine square meters for three bedrooms, so that's pretty small.、Um, but there's five eighty-five. There's eight hundred for a three-bedroom, seventy square meters. Eight fifty, seventy-three square meters.、Um, this is also a good one, three-bedroom、um, for eight fifty, and it's a hundred square meters. Again, all fully furnished. I believe. Yep, fully furnished. Nine fifty, nine ninety five, a thousand. So there's a lot that you can that you can rent for under a thousand or like eleven hundred a month. So if you want to buy an apartment, here are the prices per square feet. Price per square feet to buy an apartment in the city center 
in San Diego will run up to $1,069.81. In Valencia, it will be $280.76. The price per square feet to buy an apartment outside of the center is $563.08 in San Diego. In Valencia, it's going to be $146.49. Now, the clincher here is the salary and the financing. In San Diego, the average monthly net salary which is after taxes is $6,009.69 in Valencia it's $1,510.07 so that's almost a 300% difference when it comes to monthly net salary when it comes to mortgage the interest rate in percentage for a yearly for 20 years fixed rate in San Diego is 4% 0.97%. In Valencia, it's 2.11. So in conclusion, in San Diego, you'd need roughly around $6,871.41 to maintain the same standard of living as you can in Valencia, which is $3,154.68. That's it for our price comparison video. We hope it helps. Did we miss anything? Did you have anything to add? Or did you have a question? Write it down in the comment section below. If you found this episode helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you like this video if you're on Facebook. Follow us if you're listening to the podcast. And subscribe if you're on YouTube. Because all of these will help us create more informational videos. And it will also help you get notified when the new video comes out. I would highly suggest that because we have a lot lined up. Until then, thanks for watching and hasta luego!